Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Freestyle Factory. Uh, this is uh, Jeff Sr. Um, this video is going to be on the He Wing uh, control horn uh, slop. When you get this uh, He Wing, the F01, uh, the, the servos and the linkage is very, very sloppy as you can see. How they move up and down. I mean, it's, it's, it's bad. Um, if he wing you guys are watching this, definitely got to do something about the, the slop on these servos. I mean, you're going to lose speed, and it's going to be really, really floaty left and right when it's flying in the air. You're going to get a lot of back and forth drift because due to it's like a, a millimeter. I mean, as you can see here, that's, that's a lot, and that's not pushing on a styrofoam. That's just the control surface and how sloppy the linkage is. I mean, if the linkage was good... Um, this would be a great, great, great wing. Uh, it is a speed demon, demon for sure. So this is my son's. Um, we haven't upgraded it yet. So I'm going to show you my upgraded one. Uh, this is my upgraded He Wing. Uh, yeah, we are running uh, tri blades on our He Wings. Work a lot better than the, the two bladed prop. So we're, we ain't going to talk about that. But we're going to talk about uh, the uh, servo control horns and the linkage. So as you can see here on my linkage, I try to zoom in with my camera here a little bit and let it get it focused. I mean, it's got like a little collet here in the back. It's got a set screw in the middle, and on the other side, I'll show you. There's a nut on that side. It's got a clevis. Um, back in the day, we used clevises. They work extremely well. If you use a piece of fuel tubing to hold them together so they don't pop apart, um, I'm using a piece of shrink tubing here. Shrunk it down a little bit. Um, and as you can see here on my he wing, um, I pretty much can move the whole plane. I mean, you can see my control surfaces. I mean, yeah, they're moving because I'm, I'm bending the styrofoam. Um, there's no slop at all in this, as you can see. Uh, same thing on this one. I mean, I can move the whole plane. It's not moving. I mean, by having it that way and no slop in it, it's going to go a lot faster and it's going to fly a lot smoother. Um, these, I think I purchased a set of five off of Amazon. Um, here's the, the model number and everything on here. I mean, they were like 10 bucks to give you five of them in the kit. You cut them down, you install them. Um, on the other side here, there is a nut on the back side. And of course you had to drill a hole out a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm not sure if my camera's going to zoom in there, but I ended up using some Loctite on it. And same thing with the Allen screw that goes in the center. And a nice thing about this, too, is when you're dialing in your servos and your elevons, uh, you can get them perfectly, perfectly straight. Um, you can do your 90 on your servo horn, perfect. And then you don't have to go in like INAV or whatever you guys are using to, uh, you know, do your throws and stuff like that. You can just adjust it, I mean, like dead on. So you'd be at 1500 uh, center stick on all the servos and get your throws in both directions. Um, definitely stay tuned for some more videos and stuff like that. Uh, we do have a DRAC and some AR Wang Pros and we fly quads and uh, the ZOHD Dart and the Talon. And we got some more stuff coming up. And oh yeah, we got the, the mighty old dolphins hanging up there on the wall. She's getting ready for her maiden. She's pretty much done. I did some upgrades and modifications on that, some custom parts. So definitely stay tuned for some more videos. And thanks a lot for guys for liking and subscribing to our videos. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, definitely hit the subscribe button and we'll do the same thing back to you guys. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it and happy holidays and have a great day.